Five minutes after 8 o'clock this morning, tomorrow night the state is scheduled to execute convicted murderer Donald Dilbeck at Florida State Prison 33 years after he stabbed a woman to death in Tallahassee. And today demonstrators plan to rally at the Duval County Courthouse to oppose that execution. It's a controversial case here. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding live at the Duval County Courthouse downtown. Ashley, the group is bringing their message across the state this week. Yeah, Vic, they've actually already rallied in the Orlando and Tampa areas, and this afternoon they'll be here in front of the Duval County Courthouse for that. And finally, tomorrow there will be a vigil at the Florida State Prison ahead of that scheduled execution. More than three decades after Donald Dilbeck stabbed a woman to death in a Tallahassee shopping mall parking lot, he will be executed for his crimes. According to the Death Penalty Information Center, as of April 1st, 2022, Florida has 323 death row inmates. It goes on to say since 2017, Florida has executed seven inmates. As the state prepares to put Dilbeck to death, opponents plan to protest outside the Duval County Courthouse today saying Dilbeck's life should be spared. Organizers say those opponents include an exonerated Florida death row survivor, a former warden at Florida State Prison, and a survivor of violent crime. But Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says he'd like to see the threshold for a death sentence to be lowered. Citing the Parkland school shooting massacre, DeSantis told members of the Florida Sheriff's Association he does not believe the decision made by three jurors to spare the gunman's life is not a reflection of the community's wishes. Fine, have a supermajority, but you can't just save one person. So maybe eight out of 12 have to agree or, or something, uh, but we can't be in a situation where one person can, can just derail this. When the legislative session resumes next month, lawmakers will consider bills that would change the unanimous jury recommendation for a death sentence to an 8-4 to four vote. They would also allow judges to override a jury's recommendation for a life sentence. And the rally here at the Duval County Courthouse starts at 4 o'clock this afternoon. The scheduled execution is set for 6 p.m. tomorrow night in Stark. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.